guys, I'm Urmi and this video is about MSc Cosmetic Science in the UK. After completing PGD PCM and working in the industry for about a year and a half, I decided that I wanted to get a PhD in cosmetics. But since my previous course was a PG diploma, I was not eligible to apply for a PhD. And a missing link between the two was a master's course. So I started looking for options in India first, but there weren't any masters in cosmetic science courses available in India. So I started looking for options abroad and I found out that there were three universities in the UK that offered a course in MSc Cosmetic Science. Out of those three universities, I chose University of Sunderland. To give you a little bit of information about the university, the university is located in Sunderland, which is in the northeast of England, about half an hour away from Newcastle. And there are four campuses of the university, out of which City Campus is where the Cosmetic Science courses are taught. The eligibility criteria for this course is a bachelor's degree. Other requirements such as your academic scores and English language requirement will depend on which country you are from. So I'll be putting down a link to the university's website so you should check that out. Now to talk about why I chose University of Sunderland. When I was trying to get information about the course and the university, I went to the university's YouTube channel and I saw a few videos which were on their BSc Cosmetic Science course. One of the students there said that the university was very well known in the pharmacy industry, which is true because they have been receiving fundings for their research projects from companies like Pfizer and GSK from many years, which practically tells us how famous and well known they are in the pharmacy industry. And then I thought since pharmacy and cosmetic science are quite related to each other, University of Sunderland would be the right choice for me. Also, the course fees and living expenses in Sunderland as an international student are quite affordable as compared to the other locations. So I also kept that in mind while selecting the university. By the way, I had applied via Advice International. They are educational consultants based in India and they help you with your applications to universities in abroad. If you are from South Asia and are interested in making an application, you can also contact the university's South Asia office. They will help you and let you know what is to be done next. One of the other things that I saw in those videos were the labs. The labs look exactly how they look in those videos. There are equipments which are used to make foundations, lipsticks, eyeshadows, creams, lotions, toners and a lot of products. There are also instruments which are used in claims substantiation for measuring phenomena like transepidermal water loss, SPF and hydration. And I think having these equipments and instruments is quite necessary for a course like cosmetic science and the University of Sunderland has them. Most of our lab sessions were based on the lectures and speaking about lectures, these lectures were conducted by the professors from the university and also by industry professionals. I think that was one of the highlights of the course because we could interact with such amazing people from the industry who had an experience of many, many years. We got to connect with people like Dr. Theresa Callaghan, Dr. Barbara Brockway, and it was amazing. The master's course in cosmetic science at the University of Sunderland has been designed by Dr. Calipi Dodo, and she is the program leader of this course. We had five modules in this course, and the first module was on EU and worldwide regulations. So in this, we were taught about regulations on cosmetic products that are to be followed in the EU region and UK region. We also covered FDA guidelines in the US. We covered Canada. There was also Mercosur, Middle East and APAC region. The second module, which was formulations, manufacture and material science skills for cosmetic products. We were taught about topics like separation techniques, which included HPLC and GC. We also had to study about CTPA guidelines on good manufacturing practices. The third module was a business module in which we were taught about pestle analysis in business. Then we were also taught about project management and marketing. The fourth module was advanced dermatology and hair care. And in this one, we were taught about the structure of skin and hair. Also how surfactants work on the skin. There were also some interesting topics like stem cell therapy in cosmetic products as well as claims substantiation. So these four modules were for 30 credits and the fifth module which was a research project was for 60 credits. In this research project we had to formulate a product from scratch and we were given full freedom to select the topic that we wanted. 
the assessment for these modules were in the form of PBL sessions, which means problem based learning. We also had to submit essays and lab reports for some modules. And I remember there was also an open book test that we had given. For Indian students, at least, it is a bit different, the assessment pattern, because we are used to giving exams, written exams. But I think even this was a good way and a different way of assessment. After reading my first assignment that I submitted and the last assignment that I submitted, I felt like I kind of improved in my academic writing skills, which is quite good, I think. So that's all for today. And if you think you got valuable information from this video, make sure you like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family who would be interested in learning more about cosmetic science. The next video is going to be a part two of this video in which I'll be talking about placements, visas, educational loans, accommodation in Sunderland and the student life in Sunderland. Also let me know in the comments if you want to know anything else and I'll include that in the video. So stay tuned for that and until then, bye!